Hey guys, I am back. I'm creating new YouTube tutorials, uh, episodes, shopping with Eddie, all kinds of different videos. I've been listening to what you guys have been saying to me on the comments. Um, a lot of you uh, wanted to know how my process is, where I source containers. So I'm gonna hopefully answer all of those questions uh, in the new episodes that we're creating for you. As you can see, I've been quite busy in the last year. That's why I haven't done any new episodes. I've been creating really beautiful events from LA to all over the world. Now, in this episode, I'm gonna show you three different flowers that I'm gonna use in three different containers, making three different variations of styles of arrangements. I'm gonna take my hat box, as you can see. This is one that's very, very popular right now. Um, you see it all over Instagram, so I wanted to actually show it to you how it's made. Um, uh, the box is actually a, a quite uh, deep, um, and I don't wanna put that much uh, heavy foam into it, so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in order to get that to the right place. And I'm taking some hyacinth sticks, my cutters, water picks, my scissors. I don't think I'm gonna need my, I'm going to take some water. So I'm gonna cut this to the size of the box. The box gets really heavy and you want a lighter box. And you can use cellophane, whatever you want. Someone made a comment on, uh, on my YouTube channel saying, I say, um, uh, what was the comment? Uh, like, like so. So I'm gonna try not to say those anymore. I'm inserting the dry foam still because I'm gonna wet it afterwards. And I have it exactly like this. I'm gonna cut the excess plastic liner. And I want it not all the way, just above the lip of the box. And this is uh, the top of the box, but I'm not gonna cover the flowers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little, um, little propped it up like that. And I'm gonna take hyacinth sticks like this. this down a little bit shorter, like this. See that? So what I'm gonna do now, you could have pre-wetted your foam and then inserted into the liner, but I'm doing it kind of sort of the opposite way. I'm gonna water this down. Look at how much water it took, right? In a small. Now I'm gonna take my carnations. And the great thing about carnations really, um, you know, I did the the toe berry, um, uh, the carnation, toe berry carnation, and it got really a lot of views and a lot of comments because um, carnations are kind of known as uh, the inexpensive flower, but the varieties that they're creating nowadays, uh, it's not about inexpensive or expensive, it's actually the longevity of, of the carnation is probably longer than any flower out in the market. Um, it has an amazing, um, Ruffles. It, it almost looks like you take some scissors and you've kind of ruffled it up. See how gorgeous this is coming out? Look at this. Already so sophisticated, so elegant. That's 30, okay? I feel like some of the spots are empty, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tuck these in a little bit tighter. And when you're inserting, you know, here, I, I've seen a lot of people um, hold flowers like this when they're inserting from on top. And what you should be doing is you should hold it from the bottom, right? And insert it. This way you're controlling the stem instead of the stem controlling you. This is the Vandal Orchid. Look how unreal and kind of out of this world this looks to me. Um, it's also very, Interesting, because look at the lip, and it's almost like a mouth, it's talking to you. I'm gonna put this in a water tube. I cut a stem off from here. I'm gonna do two. I, the water tubes are pre-filled already for me. Well, I did it, the team did. I say I did it, but the team did. 
and I'm going to put the Vando in orchid like this. I'm going to take this flower. I'm going to clean off the green. I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of tuck it in on one side. I'm going to do a couple kind of sort of coming out in that same linear field. So sometimes I like my arrangements parallel, and sometimes I like my uh, asymmetrical or imbalanced. Um, as you can see, I did three on one side, but I chose to do four on this side. Don't ask me why. Um, maybe because I don't want it to look like an ear. I'm gonna take the water tube and I'm gonna tuck this Vanda orchid in, like this. When I had the conceptual in my head, I was like, this is gonna look ugly because lavenders and purples are really hard to work with because there's not a lot of varieties. You have to be really care careful in the shades. But um, I think this came out amazing. So leave me a comment, like it, let me know what you hated or loved about this arrangement. Don't, I don't like the word hate. I use it sometimes, but I don't like the word. Um, so I'm gonna put this right here and then I'm gonna start with a glass arrangement. Um, clean out the stems. I'm guesstimating that I'm going to do about 20 stems, 20, 24 stems. I'm gonna crisscross these from left to right or right to left, depending on how, if you're a lefty or a righty. And it's the first couple of stems that you have to get it correct. Clockwise. So basically I'm gonna take this and cut it really short. And I can take a wire and I can uh, bind the, the, the hand tied. While they're getting me some water, which I didn't think I was gonna need that much water in the foam box. I'm gonna take this wire that is covered with raffia, and it's in green color, it's almost matching the same as, uh, you know, the stems. Put it like this. Tie it. And you see the little spiral going on? That's what you want. That's like, that's a good hand tied when you see that spiral. When you go on top of the hand tied, you're kind of choking it. If you go further down, you're, you're letting the flowers breathe a little bit more. They, they kind of spread out. Doesn't this look elegant and sophisticated? I mean, you can even have a grouping of this, like three on your dining table. That doesn't cost you that much money, and it's gonna last you at least a good, you know, 10 days to 14 days. So that's the great things about carnations. And I'm gonna use these containers. These are already glazed, so I don't need to line them like I did with the hot box. Uh, and with this, I'm gonna use all the three flowers. You know, I use the band as the carnation, and these, I think these are Veronica's. Don't. I'm gonna take one third of this foam. I'm gonna nestle it in like this. On this one, I'm gonna cut it a little bit deeper because I want my Vanda Orchid, and this one I'm gonna do my Vanda Orchid. And I want the Vanda Orchid here. I mean, these are not inexpensive, so I want you to, like one stem can go a long way. Um, again, if you wanna upgrade it, you can do the water tube thing that I did before. But all I wanna do is I wanna kinda lay this right here with the water tube. So I'm not gonna even wet that one. Let me do this one. God, this takes a lot of water. Look, 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 look at the bubbles. That's the foam drinking, because it's thirsty, and it's filling all those air bubbles inside. I'm gonna start with the, the small arrangement, and these are the broken carnations that we had previously, and remember I told you I don't like to waste anything, so I'm gonna tuck this in, like 
this. Insert it, tuck it in, however you guys want to say it, because I hear comments all the time. This is what I'm comfortable on camera of saying. I'm not a professional actor. I'm doing my best. In time, I will get more comfortable on camera because I hate, I know, contrary to what all of you believe, seeing me on social media, you think I'm, you know, uh, I'm very comfortable and I am not comfortable. I'm great with people in a room. I can carry a conversation not knowing you, but when I'm against, in front of a camera, I am completely shy. I actually fill it with water. And I just, lay the orchid right on top. And remember, I said this is what I want the focus to be. So I'm gonna leave some of the green on this, not all of it. And the reason I'm doing that is I wanna kind of cover the floral foam. Clean this off. Now I take my knife and I'm going to start outside the parameter and go inside, watching the direction of the flower. As you can see, it's curving towards the sky or the ceiling or whatever you want to call it. Now that I completed the last arrangement of the three that I was creating in this video for you, I am going to clean up my table and I'm going to put it all together and I want you to see how amazingly they work together and how that you can separate it or you can even do all these arrangements in your home or your, uh, for gifting or you know one can be used for cocktails, the other one can be used for coffee table, the other one can be used as a gift, you know, a hostess gift. You know, there's so many different ways. So let me go, please, it's a long video. Let me clean this up and then put it all together. You'll see how gorgeous it looks. So as you can see, I told you, I promised you that I'm gonna show you how this, all three, is gonna put, look together. So I've gathered these, you've got your hat box, uh, your square hat box with the carnations, the Vanda orchids. You've got the grouping of the carnation, the Vanda and the Veronicas, and then just the carnation in itself. Remember we talked about it, you can send it all in different formats, you can use it for different types of arrangements. Um, and look how stunning and beautiful they, they look. We use three simple flowers, guys. Three. Three different types of containers. And look how stunning each of these arrangements are. One more than, like better than the other one, for me at least. Um, make sure, you go on all of my social media, right? Instagram, Facebook, YouTube channel, like, comment, follow. You'll see it on the bottom of the screen, but I'm just reminding you, make comments. I wanna see what you wanna see. I've been really working really hard. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Peace out.